Christ, oh. dude. That's what it's all about. It's a black bag. Oh, what the? <laughs> you said there was no rock pick on you. Good silencer. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? Bread. I am. I'm eating bread, but keto? dude, we need to survive today. We didn't stop anywhere to get anything to eat, and we drove like an extra 15 minutes out of the way. We got Lunchables and Lunchable, dude. Four and a half dollar sandwiches. Clint's over there stocking up for like an entire weekend. I know. Is he heating up his food? Where yeah, he, he, he go? got a burrito. Dude, this is really good right now. Dude, watch there be no parking sign. Got it? Yeah, I got the Kong cooler right here. That's because you freaking drive like a maniac and the Kong cooler went <laughs> flying to the front of the freaking truck. Oh, okay. Whatever, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, we're headed out right now. We just got on the boat. Gonna troll some uh, short bus flashers, and we run running bait today. Yeah, we'll run some bait. Run some bait, we'll run and some hopefully get out and in the ocean and get on some coho and yeah. see if uh, see if we can get some fish. These fish are just like on the outgoing tide, where we're gonna. It'll be a little bit of outgoing when we get out there. If we get bit, then they instantly go to the ocean. So it's like you know, hopefully the ocean's nice and. You'll see, it's a pretty cool fishery. It hasn't been phenomenal, but there's been enough fish to make it interesting, so. And then uh, we'll go up river after that and probably go use some super series and see what happens. Who's gonna catch the biggest fish? Uh, me. me. You think you're gonna catch the biggest fish? Yeah. I don't know. I, I get know. pretty lucky. I mean, I mean if I dude, if you don't want to mess enough. with this luck. This I get pretty is, lucky this the is Hawaii make me luck. Famous. And you know it too. I mean, I get pretty it's lucky. It's magic. The hat. Oh boy. He's not going to catch a fish today <laughs> because as soon as that rod goes off, I set the hook as hard as I can and then I hand it to him. Then he walks home. And then I walk home. <laughs> That's key, right? Solid hook set. As soon as you see your rod tip go, nah, you just pull. Okay. As hard as you can. You get those legs going like that too? Yeah. You got to do it. Dude, I was surprised you. I'm quicker than you think. I left my fast glasses at home though, so I'm a little slow right now. The bite is going to take quite a while to progress because these fish are coming across the bar. They, there's a lot of current. And so they're sitting there just chewing, holding in one position. So it takes a long time for them to, to eat the bait. So just let them sit there and chew on it, and chew on it, and chew on it. And if you're eating food, finish eating your food and then pick your rod up. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Oh, she's a little tired. 45 minutes of sleep. I tried sleeping on the way here, but Charles, dude, he does not stop talking. I'm telling you what. Fact. He just goes and goes and goes, and then like he'll remember something that happened like eight years ago, and then he'll just go off about it. It's pretty funny there. I'm throwing some cut blood herring, some uh, Lucas just hooked up short up bus flashers. A lot of weeds out here, so we're trying to get everything cleaned off. Every couple minutes, we'll switch around and get weeds off of uh, baits and flashers, and get back in and get fishing. See how good we are. If we don't catch anything, I'm gonna blame it on these guys. I would too. You heard I'd say it. just Mike. I'm gonna stay with the Nick here. Nick, stay together. That's right, Nick. Nick. I might do something today. I might have some pizza today yeah. on the way home. Uh, it's been like two months. What's going on here with Mike? He's got his fast glasses out here already. No way. The sun pops up for a second and he throws on his fast glasses. I can't believe it. I don't even know what you're talking about. Take it out, take it out. Way to be patient. Woo! Thanks for killing him up. Yup. Coming back. 
Get him, Mike. Mike, put the wood through it. Yeah, Mike, we're coming down seal lane here. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, Brad, it's under your boat. These fish are no joke. Keep up, Mike, keep up. Let him circle out from the boat. Push the rod out that way. There you go, let him circle around. Oh, it's a fish, too. Oh. Lift up. Nice. Go ahead and let a little line in. Nice. Dude, these fish are no joke down here. That is not the same as fighting a fish out of the Columbia River. Nice fish. Dude, look at the sea lice on that thing. Just caked up. Look at him bleeding to death because we choked him. Choked him. Mikey, good stuff, baby. Heck yeah, man. That's tight. The addicted silencer. Oregon Coast Chinook, baby. Heck yeah, man. That's what it's all about. It's the goods right there. Bam. Nice fish. Look at the sea lice on it. Look at that. These ain't Columbia River fish here, boy. Long tails. Oh, man. It smells like a Thule. Oh. <laughs> put him back. Thule, put him back. Release him. All right, guys, well, we're we're uh, reeling up right now. We just got a call. There's some coho being caught out in the ocean, so we're going to head out in the ocean. Non-selective harvest. Non-selective harvest, so anything goes out there. And uh, the best part about this is Clint is going to get seasick. Woo! Let's go get him. Like Clint is feeling a little, a little sick right now. Really? It's gonna be good. We gotta run out. Just let, we're not gonna stay out long. Only a couple hours. All right, guys. Line counters at 300. 48 hours. Uh, Charles, go to 20, 28, 30, 35. Go to like 38. Here we go. We're in 200 foot of water. We're gonna drop down, and my line counter is messed up. So go poles then. Go like. We'll this. see. Keep the other rods on this side running, please. Get it. Real. Real. Got the net, Mike? Yeah. I was literally just saying how this is the lucky rod and I thought it was going to oh, get bit again. Fish too. No, it's not. What depth was that? That was deeper. Yeah, I was at like close to 40. All right, so here we have a beautiful. This is a wild coho salmon. Basically out here, um, right now they have an opener for, for wild fish. So basically we can kill any hatchery or it's a non-selective fishery. So it does not have to be a hatchery coho right now. So we get two days every Friday and Saturday for the next, well, until our quota is filled of about 3,500 fish. Um, we get to uh, keep and retain any fish that wild or hatchery. So we're, we're just out here hoping for the best, but there's a few around and I think we should be able to do pretty good. Bam. Let someone grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Out of this oh, rock, guys. Nick. He already oh, reeled in a fish. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nick's got it. He's off. Oh, he's off. Okay. Ah, so I was telling you to grab it. Oh, I thought... You're up next or he's up next. Oh. You can't let him be for that long. Yeah, me and him already reeled in a fish. Dude, bring that, that up to eat me. Oh, I, the first thing I did when I saw him get bit was look back there and I could see him swimming off with it. Well, I mean, Who, what, what did Nick do? Did I you lose it? Nick just lost the trophy. I look over and the... Dude, it was a big one. I, I look over and I see the rod kind of bump. Yeah. And I look over and it just freaking starts going. And I'm telling Clint, because me and Charles already got some fish. <laughs> telling Clint, get it, get it, get it. And no one's grabbing the rod. Dude, I need a new crew. Right? <laughs> no one's grabbing the rod. So Charles goes to grab it. And by that time, the thing's, you know... Probably already done ate the bait and is already swimming off. Salmon. That rod didn't just get bit. Watch it. Wait, you messed up again. Oh, oh fish, fish, fish. I got it. I don't know. Start reeling. I don't, I don't think he's still there. David, I just back. Just send it back to 30. It's gone. You grabbed it. We gotta freaking start landing these fish. 
What did you say for yourself? That was in your hands. And you lost it. Here, pick her up, set. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, sorry. Damn it! Wow. Number 13 of the day. <laughs> oh my god. That's the first one I had my hands on. So, can you do the motions too? We're what trying to change our luck. I'm because something's song? going on. Like, we're, we've lost. I don't know how many you fish Clint has lost, but I think yeah. the best thing is just to drop Clint off on the sand. Don't you freaking touch that, Clint! Okay, take it. Yeah. Oh, that's a keeper, though. Watch your rod, oh, sorry. Wow. Oh what my! You let me wow. just like grab it. You actually landed a fish. Clint, <laughs> he landed a fish today. <laughs> After 13 missed fish. Wow. And uh, that's not that's even that's accurate. That's Two oh. coho, one chinook. We could have been done and out of here and gone and get some other coat or some other chinook, but our special guest Clint over here decided to miss like ten fish. So it's all right. Overall, it's been a really fun day. It's been fun. It's not even over yet. Yep. Yeah. What time is it? It's only like eleven o'clock. It's not even lunch time. It's, it's even eleven thirty and all my food's gone. <laughs> oh my god. Just real. Don't pump. What the f it's a black bass. Oh, oh what, what the never, there, there was no rock fish out here. I've never caught one out here. Dude. Dude, that fing suspended in like fing 60 feet of water. On a short bus flasher. Short bus and super bait. Brad right? super oh, bait. Jesus. What the heck? Mom. Why can't the coho be hooked like that? The rod's right behind. What we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna shoot back to the dock real quick. At, well, we just arrived at the dock, but we're gonna drop off our silvers that we caught in the ocean because it is a wild retention out in the ocean. You're able to keep wild silvers out there and in the river you are not. So technically you can't angle for Chinook after catching wild silvers out in the ocean. So we are gonna drop our fish that we've harvested out in the ocean and then we are gonna head back out and try to catch a couple more Chinook and see what happens. So. Stay tuned, it's gonna be good. So last night, I filled my Kong up with uh, ice to make sure it was pre-chilled. And so now we've got ice in here. It'll be in here all day because the cooler was already cold. And now we're just transferring over some ice into here to keep these guys cold. And as you guys know, we're heading back up river. losing any I think I'm gonna land more than you but also lose more than you just my rods just gonna go off dude you think your rods gonna be the hot rod oh yeah yours was this morning but it's transitioning to this side of the boat so we got up here and dropped the rods in and I went to grab a GoPro battery and instantly got snagged up <laughs> one little tick on the bottom and then snagged so, see if we can't uh, stay out of the snag. Oh, we got a fish following us. Come on. Oh, he's down on someone's gear. I think it might have hit here. Right? Something hit mine. Here's another one at like 10 feet. They thought he just reeled. Watch those hanging rocks there, guys. Alright, we're gonna get him right here. Flip. Nope, nope. 
tips out that way, out that way. Nice work, Sean. So I'll show you kind of after you catch your fish, you want to make sure you take good care of them so you get the blood out of the meat. So it's what I do is I enter the fin right here or enter the gills right where the, the, the gills meet. And then I just trace around the gills. And as you can see, blood starts coming out. And then I come in the back of their throat and where the gills connect, I make an incision one way and then I completely detach the gills. And then when I uh, go to fillet them, super easy because you can just gut them and their gills will pop right out. But you can see how well that bleeds. Them. A lot of guys have just cut through the gills and you can do that, it works fine. But this way seems to get the most blood out of the meat and keeps, keeps your fish a little bit better for the freezer. This guy does. I just hooked a 26 footer, dude. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Somehow, Clint gets his, what is his lure? <laughs> He got his flasher like wrapped around the transducer. <laughs> transducer. Trans what? The transducer on the back of the boat. What are you doing? I'm on bottom. Oh my God. And now he's snagged. Oh, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Woo! Oh! 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 oh no! I'm gonna have to crank down on him then. Just you can go a little bit. Don't go a lot. You don't want to tear it out. Okay, it's coming. Oh, it's a pig, dude. Oh. It's a giant. Lift, lift. No, no, no. Lift. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Are you coming in Dude, that's a beast. How happy are you? Dude, I'm feeling way better now. I mean, that's gotta be, I'm gonna say. No, it's over 21. 20. I don't know, 24, 25? I don't How want to lowball Clint at all, How but. How far out are you? Too far. 21. Mike. I'm saying 24 and a half. 21. 21.45. Who called that? That's about right. I mean, that's what I said. Who called that? Here. Look at this. Those are long tail sea lice, which stay on a fish for only, they, they estimate 48 hours, is what they, they say. But dude, this fish has sea lice all over his tail and it's a completely bronzed up buck, you know? So it just goes to show that, that these fish enter the salt and if they don't like the water temperature or, you know, whatever it may be, they do go back out to the salt once they've entered the estuary. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. Well, we're heading back to the dock. We've had a great day. A lot better than I think maybe most of us expected. Um, Nick had some high hopes for today and well, they panned out so we got the rods put away and we're heading back in these no wake zones that we have to go through <laughs> we're heading back and uh we're gonna get some fish clean that's pretty close but i what like i said 24 24 and it a is half. 24 okay yeah. i said 24 25 yeah hey that fish is 24, 24. and a half what happened by 21 i knew that thing was wrong that's a nice Chinook. Look at this. Seal, sea lion problem, but it's made to hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're back here at the dock and getting the fish cleaned up. We ended with uh, four coho and three Chinook. So today we were out with Nick Popoff. Um, from, he's one of our addicted guides from Peel the Real Guide Service. And uh, if you guys want to book with him, check him out on Facebook. And hopefully he can get you on some fish like this. Stay tuned. Every Sunday we'll be coming out with more. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the water. We're gonna get down on some pizza right now. It's been like four weeks since I've had pizza. It's going down. Get it.